welcome to my channel. I'm Sugar Kitty Mystic and today I want to talk to you about sleep paralysis. Um, so sleep paralysis can be really frightening. It can be unsettling. It can be even scary if you don't know what to do, um, if you've never experienced it before, or if you just feel like you're not in control with it. So in this video, I want to show you how you can be in control of this experience, how you can quickly and easily get back into your body if that's what you want to do, or how you can use sleep paralysis as a cheat code for astral traveling or lucid dreaming. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video. Definitely stick around to the end to see all my tips and we'll get started. So if you are panicking and you just want to get back into your body, if you have tried to get up and it's not working, if you are stressed, if you want the experience of sleep paralysis to end, the best thing that you can do is focus on your breathing. You want to slow down your breathing as much as possible. You can take deep breaths, focus on the lungs, focus on breathing, focus on the sensations within your body. The more that you can single in on that movement of breathing, the quicker you will get back into your body. So sometimes you can experience um, frightening things when you're in a state of sleep paralysis. You can experience kind of like scary visuals or thoughts. Um, if you want that to end, just deep breathing, deep, slow breathing. Know that you will wake up and the less you fight against it, the easier it will be for you to do that. A state of stress is often contributing to your experience of sleep paralysis, contributing to the reason you might experience scarier or frightening things in this state. If you want it to be easier on you, if you want it to not be scary and it's something you can control, deep, slow breathing, okay? Now the next step, or the next thing, you don't have to use it as a step, if you want to use this as a way to lucid dream, as a way to astral project, you can. So when you are out of body, when you are unable to get yourself up, when you are unable to move your limbs and you realize you're in sleep paralysis, if you want to use this to lucid dream or astral travel, what you're going to do is rather than breathing and going back into your body or trying to get back into your body, you're going to think about going farther out from your body. So if you kind of just want to dip your toe in the water a little bit, just get a little taste of the experience, what you're going to do is just imagine floating around your house. And you will, you might kind of like fly around or float around. You can float around your neighborhood. Um, if you are unsettled by it, stick to this world, stick to earth. Think of somewhere you want to go, somewhere beautiful, and you'll float to it. Now, if you want to experience astral travel, if you're ready for something um, a little bit more trippy, <laughs> you can imagine going farther out of body. So you're going to imagine floating up and up. You can imagine um, like climbing a rope. That is one technique for astral travel that you can use while you're in a state of sleep paralysis. Imagine climbing a rope out of your home, out of over the, through the ceiling. Um, or what works best for me personally is you can imagine spinning upwards. So in a circle, just spinning up or just floating straight up. And you kind of want to zoom out and out and out. Now from there, you can do anything. So if you are in a state of lucid dreaming, you will notice that you feel very lucid. Um, you don't necessarily control everything in your environment, everything in the experience, but you have some choices. You have some control. Now, if you are in a state of astral travel, it'll feel different. It'll feel when you go to move somewhere, if you just think of somewhere, you will go there and it will almost be like you're being like ripped or like really speedily yanked there. Um, it's really fast. There's a different quality to the movements that you experience. Um, 
So yeah, in a state of astral travel, I mean, you can use it for so many things. You can do emotional healing. You can look at subconscious patterns. You can manifest or create new experiences for yourself. You can learn things. You can practice a skill. You can talk to spirit guides. You can talk to your ancestors. Um, you can go on kind of like a trippy adventure. To be honest, whenever this happens to me, because I don't try to experience sleep paralysis, I don't try to lucid dream or astral travel, it always is just something that happens. I never really know how to use it. I can never really think of something that quick that I kind of want to do or learn or whatever. So for the most part, I just have trippy experiences like floating backwards through a world of green cubes or like looking at earth from space. Um, things like that. Now, one of the trippiest experiences I had, I floated out of body. It was a, it was after meditating. So if you experience out of body after meditating, it's a little bit easier to control. It's not as scary. You're in a calm state. So it's kind of like you can go with the flow a little bit more. When I first started meditating regularly, anytime I laid down on my back to meditate, I would go out of body or I wouldn't be able to move my body. And it took a lot of practice to get comfortable in that state. If this is something you don't experience very often or you've never experienced, my hope is that by watching this video, when you do experience it, if you experience it, you'll be more excited, you'll be more calm, you're bo you'll be more able to use it to your advantage rather than just be like, what is this? How do I get back into my body? What the hell is going on? Um, <laughs> because it can feel like that. <laughs> it definitely feels like that. But if you're on top of like, woo, I can go do something cool with this, then you'll be excited when it happens and you won't have that same fear and you're less likely to have like a scary experience because sometimes you can go lucid in a scary dream or a nightmare. Um, you can see things that kind of frighten you in a state of sleep paralysis. And a lot of that comes from stress. Now, nightmares are actually a way for you to overcome obstacles, a way for you to overcome fears. So going lucid in a nightmare is actually really beneficial to you if you are able to handle the fear, if you are able to work with the fear. You can symbolically overcome anything in a dream state if you can face nightmares. If you don't want nightmares though, if you don't want this experience, you can wake up by focusing on your breathing and telling yourself you're going to wake up. That helps as well. Repeating it as a mantra, I want to wake up now. You will wake up. So yeah, you can go on really trippy adventures. You can have cool experiences. Um, I had one time where I kind of floated out of body and I didn't know what to do with it. So I floated around um, where I was living at the time. And then I went up and all of a sudden I was in like this pirate setting. Um, there was like a beach, there was like this giant pirate ship and I started like flying around it. It was almost like a roller coaster where I had a little bit of movement, like I could dodge, um, but I wasn't controlling my flow or where I was going. And so there was this giant pirate ship and I was flying around it and there was this huge skeleton pirate with like one of those pirate knives cutlasses one of those cutlasses and he was like swinging it and I had to dodge the swing of his knife and then I went I started going down and I started going right for the ocean and I'm a little bit like scared of deep dark water I'm a little bit uneasy with the ocean so at that moment I was like I, I want to get I want to get out of here before I hit the water I don't want to see what's gonna go on under there I want to wake up and so I did I kind of like hit the water and then woke up or went back into my body. So these experiences can be unsettling. They definitely shake you because they're not something that you're used to. If you can remain calm though, if you can find a way to get comfortable in that experience, it can actually be something beneficial. If you experience sleep paralysis, if you experience um, lots of nightmares, lots of intense dreams, it's probably because your main intuition type is dream state intuition. And they actually are a lot more meaningful for you than people who don't dream as much or don't have as intense or scary experiences. 
your mind can't really tell the difference between a dream and a real experience. So the things that occur to you in your dream, the things that you overcome, the things that you learn, they have an effect on your day-to-day -day waking life. So if you want to own this experience, if you want to get out of fear, get out of anxiety, those are my tips. Hopefully they helped you. Um, if you've had any trippy out of body experiences, tell me them below. I'd love to hear about them. I find them so interesting. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe to my channel if you want more mystical videos and pick a card tarot readings. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.